Hey everyone, it's Rob at Mr. Robot Shop. I'm making a mixtape for my 12 year old daughter today. Uh, I just remember doing this uh, back in the 80s. We'd, uh, I better turn the music down before YouTube grabs it. Anyways, uh, we'd make them for ourselves and for friends, and uh, we'd pretty much either record off of a radio uh, when we first started doing it, or later we'd record off uh, other tapes, like this deck here, it's an Onkyo cassette deck, dual deck, and you go from uh, tape to tape. And then you'd also record off of uh, LP records, and then obviously at the end of uh, the tape uh, era, I guess, would be uh, when you'd go from CD to tape, and then after a while you'd be able to burn uh, CD, so then tapes kind of fell out of uh, what people like to do so but anyways I kinda I just wanted to do it because it's it's been a long time since I'd made one so here's the your insert I, I found some Maxell uh, XL2 tapes uh, I really like the Maxell brand the XL2S were really good um, XL2s are okay but uh, you want to get the ones that were made in Japan because those are quite a bit better so you'd normally take and list all your uh, record or not records but your songs and the uh, musician that uh, did the song and here's a little sticker that you're going to put on the tape when it's done and I'm just doing it on a HP uh, laptop so I'm using VLC and then I'm just going through the headphone jack right into the uh, line input uh, ports on the back of the tape deck and I did find a uh, Sony Walkman for uh, $24 on eBay uh, I ordered it and got it today and it plays really good so I don't know it's something kind of cool I got three tapes for I think it was like $26 they're brand new um, I've read online that you definitely want to get the ones made in Japan because the other ones that were made afterwards are not as good a quality so anyways it's kind of fun doing it again one thing I do like uh, using VLC it actually shows you your uh, playlist time where before you had to kind of guess on how long the tape was going to last. So hopefully it's uh, 42 minutes and on a 90 minute tape you're going to get uh, 45 minutes per side. So, And just remember to do your level control there. <clears throat> on the higher bias tapes you could sometimes get in the red without it being a real big deal. Um, on the cheaper low bias tapes you really got to keep it in the green or it's going to be very distorted. Uh, but the higher bias tapes uh, definitely would take a little more pounding uh, as far as input and uh, obviously you want to go with Dolby uh, this one only has B and C uh, obviously C uh, I think there were some other Dolby's made after that but C is pretty much the best one for uh, most I think there's an S out now but uh, most of your decks are gonna have either B or C so anyways uh, just a blast from the past hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, if you get bored buy yourself a tape deck and you got a computer I'm sure use your mp3 files and play them on VLC and get yourself some good Maxell tapes again the XL2 or XL2S those are the ones that I remember being the the best sounding quality and uh, you know get yourself a I just searched on eBay <clears throat> for Walkman nice condition because you know a lot of these older Walkmans they don't even work anymore because the belts and stuff are, are worn out but this one actually does uh, sound pretty nice and it's in nice clean shape so appreciate you watching you guys take care